Hey church, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for another devotional. Now today's going to be our last day in our discussion around the Holy Spirit. I have loved this series. Thank you for prompting me to write it. It was your comments and questions that led me to do this. So thank you so much for doing that. And with that, that means tomorrow we're going to jump back into the Gospel of John. So you need to find that scripture journal that you were using, which I am struggling to find right now for some reason. I know it's around here somewhere. Hopefully I'll find it before tomorrow and so will you. But John chapter 16, the end, has some awesome text in it. I'm excited to share those with you. So find that. We're going to pick right back up in the Gospel of John. Today we're going to be in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Uh, essentially, you'll see below, I put the, almost the entire chapter in the text. I want you to read it. I'm not going to read the whole thing today, but you should. And I just want to read the first couple of verses because it sets the mood for where we're going. Paul says, now there are varieties of gifts, but the same spirit. There are varieties of service, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it's the same God who empowers them all and everyone. And hopefully you saw the mood there. Paul begins with the Trinitarian Godhead and explaining that he, he is going to make the Spirit manifest in each one of us so that we can function in different ways. And then he draws this beautiful analogy of how the body works and how we are a part or a member of that body, actual physical body, to bring glory to God. So I know it's a, a long text. I, really, seriously, you need to read it because it's got so much great information in it. And today what I'm going to do is I want to list six fundamental principles that I pulled from this text that you need to know about your spiritual gifts. Here's principle number one. Not a shocker. You have a spiritual gift. The Bible says you have a gift. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7 says, every believer has one, at least one, sometimes many, and it's given to you. Principle number two, your spiritual gift is given to you, but get this, it's not for you. 1 Corinthians 12, verse 7. It is given to you for the common good of the believing community. This is because it's a gift, and it's a gift for you to steward, to give away. So you have a responsibility to steward it that way. Principle number three, you don't get to choose your spiritual gift. 1 Corinthians 12, verse 11. It's actually distributed to you by the Spirit's will. That's why they're actually called a gift. It's not something you get to pick. It is a gift given by the Holy Spirit, thus the term spiritual gift. Principle number four, you have a unique gift in a very diverse body of gifts distributed all by that same Spirit. 1 Corinthians 12, verses 12 and 13. It says here, your gift is the expression of, of diversity working in unison when you actually use it in the believing community, which is an imperative here, right? You need to be in a believing community, which brings me to principle number five. Your gift is essential to the church, to believers. 1 Corinthians 12, verses 14 through 17. You and your gift are needed inside of that community. No one gift has more value or less value. The expression of your gift has equal value, no matter how specific it is, or sweeping it is, how conspicuous it might, conspicuous it might be, or inconspicuous it might be at times. And principle number six, your gift will apply from everything to suffering to celebration. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 25 and 26. This is why I believe the Spirit gives different gifts. We each have our moments to serve one another and each other when we suffer. In fact, suffering gives us each an opportunity for application of our gift in different ways. This means you should consider how your gift could support other believers and move them from suffering to celebration in their lives. So here's what we learn from these very basic six principles today. What we learn is there's a symphony of spiritual gifts given by the Holy Spirit. The Spirit, the great spiritual conductor, distributes and coordinates his diverse gifts, harmonizing them to create a composition within the church body. Thus, we get to join in with his song by stewarding and valuing and utilizing our gifts for the greater good, whether in times of hardship or joy. So do that today. Use your gift 
And it's really real, real, relatively simple to do. You just use your gift to bless another believer in their moment of need and watch as the Spirit works through you in the life of another. I love you guys. Thanks so much for joining me for this series. I'll see you right back here again tomorrow in the Gospel of John.